My older sister, she's about nine years older than me, she decided she was going to be an endodontist. And I thought, who the hell would want to be an endodontist and do root canals all day long? And then I went to dental school, and then I decided, I think I want to be an endodontist. <laughs> I just love the aspects of the procedure, the technical aspects of it. I get to use these tangible skills I have with my hands to literally alleviate uh, patient suffering. And I think it's a really, really cool feeling, pretty powerful feeling. We have a lot of anxious patients come in and they're naturally very fearful because of everything they've heard about a root canal is very scary and it's going to hurt. But, you know, I sense the patient's anxiety when I come in the room and the first thing I want to do is just reassure them and let them know that this is gonna be a totally painless experience, okay? I'm gonna use local anesthetic and we're gonna get you extremely comfortable and I can guarantee you that you're not gonna feel any pain during this procedure. There is a patient at the old location. She was getting a root canal because she was actually undergoing uh, cancer treatment and she needed to make sure she had no infections in her mouth. She was an older lady and she came in terrified. Before I laid her down in the chair, she said, I'm a survivor of sexual abuse and I can be triggered if I'm laid down in the chair. So I stopped and I said, okay, how about this? You know, I have to lay down to do the procedure, but if you ever get triggered and you ever feel a panic attack, come on, our safe word's gonna be spaghetti. She was an Italian, I knew from her last name, and she just laughed hysterically right away, and immediately she felt comfortable. Even during the procedure, you know, we have music playing in the background. We all started singing together in the procedure. Afterwards, she was just incredibly grateful and had such a positive experience. It made my year, to be honest with you.